dihybrid cross. So we are asked to cross a heterozygous for both traits with a homozygous round and a heterozygous yellow. <sighs> Pretty scary. No, just take a deep breath, relax. Let's start with the first one. Heterozygous for both traits. That should be easy. You just take the big R, small R, that's heterozygous, and then big Y, small Y. So heterozygous for both traits. The other one is a homozygous round. Homozygous round, well, we know that it has to be round, so it has to be big R, but then because it's homozygous, it has to be big R, big R, and not big R, small R. And a heterozygous yellow, because they're heterozygous, they're opposite, so heterozygous is technically usually the easiest one to go around. Okay, so we're asked to cross them together. Now it's not that hard, just take them one at a time. Remember, for every one R, you start with one Y, and that's what you get for the first one, and then for the second one, it's the same R with the other Y. That's what you get for the second one. And then you do the other one for this R and this Y and then for this R and then the last Y. Okay, so between doing the parent on the left side or the parent on the right side, it doesn't really matter which parent you do. As long as you're consistent, that's all that matters. All right, let's move on to the second parent. So the second parent, we'll start with this R and this Y. There's our first one. And then we'll do the same thing with this R and the last Y. There's the second one. Then we'll do the third one, this R and this Y, and then this R with this Y. And there you have it. Now you notice on the right hand side, the trait for this parent right here is exactly the same thing as the first two. So you can do 16 box if you want, but because they're both the same thing, you can remove the two column, work on only the first two column, and then you can just double your number. That makes it easier. It's up to you really. Okay, so we move the two column and then we're going to work with two column and we'll double our number at the end. So we're going to fill them in. So when to fill them in, take for this box, you notice you have to follow with this one and this one here. So you have big R, big R and big Y, big Y. Use your ruler if it helps you if you can't correlate the points and squares and stuff like that. For example, this one here is going to go in this box and this one is going to be this box. Okay, so I'll fill it in for you. There you go. Remember, just take your time, making sure you double check your answer. All right, next up, I'm just going to do this for you just to make it easier for your eyes. Now, notice we have all around. There's no wrinkle because there's no recessive from this parent. So, therefore, all the parents is going to be having at least one dominant round. So, they're all round. There are six of them that are yellow, and there's only two of them that are green. So, we're going to start with the phenotype, which is the easiest one. All right, so the phenotype. We notice there is six round yellow and two round green. The ratio is six to two. Well, remember we have to double up our numbers, so we have twelve round yellow and four round green, and that's its total equivalent to sixteen. The ratio is twelve to four. All right, now we're going to move into genotype. So for the genotype, simply you take each one and you do the math, see how many there are. So for the first one, big R, big R, big Y, big Y. There's only one of it. And then you move on to another one. Now, an easier way of doing this is, okay, once you look at it, just make an X or something like that just to notify you, okay, I'm done with that one. And then I'm not going to use that one anymore. And then you move on to the next one. Okay, so there's big R, big R, big Y, small Y. There's one right here, and then there's one right here. Just make sure you take your time and look carefully for all of it. Okay, so I used these three already, and I only have the other remaining. And then you go and you fill down all the way down to the rest of the list. And that's pretty much it for the genotype. Remember, you also have to double them up. It's out of 16 total. Okay, so for the first one, because it's 1, you double it, it's 2, 2 out of 16. And the other one is 2, so you double it, it's 4, 4 out of 16. And then so on and so forth. And you should have a total of 16 added total. And that's pretty much it. You have your phenotype. You have your genotype. And that's pretty much what your teacher will mostly ask you. Oh, and then one more question. Usually, you always get a question that asks like this, what is the chance of getting a blah and blah? In this case, you're asking you for what is the chance of when you cross those two together, what is the chance of getting a heterozygous for both traits? So what do you do? First step is you figure out the parents. After you figure out the parents, um, separate the alleles, and then do your cross. Once you finish with your cross, you have to genotype like this. Once you get all your genotype like this, then all you have to do is read the question. Okay, they're asking you for this one, heterozygous, and you find it for heterozygous for both traits. And then we look for it is right here. Heterozygous for both traits, and the chance of getting it is 4 out of 16.